Welcome back to the channel and today I have built a flooding escape room to challenge my friends. Now we've all built underwater themed challenges for each other. It didn't have to be an escape room, could have been anything else with the theme underwater. But I went with the escape room style and this is probably the most difficult and complex escape room with some unique challenges and puzzles that I've come up with compared to anything else I've done so far. So before we let them take a stab at it, you should probably know what they need to do so that way it'll be much more interesting and entertaining to watch them miss everything that they need to do before they actually do it. At least that's the plan with an escape room. So when you first get in here, everything looks relatively normal. Nothing's underwater. Uh, there's not much you can do yet because you're not supposed to have any tools at all and you're supposed to be in first person only. Uh, you can switch this key, but it doesn't do anything because it's only half of what needs to happen because there's two green lights here. So the first thing they got to do is jump on this uh, broken part of the staircase that isn't making it all the way down and find a chest with a spud gun in it. And that gives them access to spud gun power. There's a couple of destructible things that they need to do. I'll just get rid of that for now because that's gonna interfere with stuff later. But if you shoot the water canister, it opens this up. And now you may see this is behind some armored glass, except the glass right in front of it is actually breakable. You open that up or you turn that power switch and that opens this up. And now this is where things are gonna get a little bit more difficult because when you press this, it doesn't really look like anything happens. But hopefully at some point they will figure out that these wires up here are actually destructible and that allows you to open this. And when you open this, you get this fancy little lever here and this causes the entire room to flood with water. And why is this a good thing? Well, because some stuff changes. Sorry, let me get the water level back down so you can actually see the changes here. So one of the things that changes is this coat rack uh, goes up and the other thing is this sign goes up to reveal a very large switchboard, which you'll never guess the uh, the combo by yourself with the amount of combinations. But if you look under this coat rack, you press that switch, it actually opens this up, unlocks the chest. You may notice that uh, there seems to be some painted blocks at the bottom of the chest that is inconveniently covered with cardboard. And that is actually going to tell you what the code is for that switchboard. But you may notice that I have my spud gun selected. And this is the cool thing about the flooding escape room is when the water is flooded, you can't use your spud gun. So you may be thinking, oh, now I got to shoot all this cardboard. So let's go ahead and lower the water level. But you may notice that as soon as the water level lowers and you can use your spud gun again, the chest closes. And that is exactly what this vacuum pump thing is for. So when this opens, you can actually use this to create a bit of a kickstand and that is going to allow this chest to stay open while the water level is down so you can have access to your spud gun. There we go. Now we can jump on top of here and shoot all of the pesky cardboard and now we get our keypad code. So it's pretty much an up arrow to signify up but then when you go over to do it you see it's not accessible anymore. So this is constantly a struggle between when the when you need to have the place flooded and not flooded to be able to gain different abilities and access to different things. So there we do, we do the up arrow, that light turns on letting you know you got it successful and that now gives you access to the second floor. And this is the puzzle that I am most proud of because this is unlike anything I've seen before as far as puzzles and scrap mechanics go and I think it's a pretty unique idea. The end result is supposed to be pretty obvious. You can see there's a sensor there, a sensor there, and a sensor there and you can see there are a bunch of red prongs and uh, there's a green prong on each wheel. So obviously you need to get the green prong in front of each um, each sensor. Now the problem is the wheels are being blocked by this pesky cardboard. So you actually have to go back down and hit the switch and it gives you just, not just enough time, it gives you more than enough time to swim back up to the room before the water goes down, preventing you from getting up here because you can't actually jump up here from the bottom without the water. So then you can finally unlock these wheels. And the problem with these wheels is uh, they're just free floating. They're free floating and they are weighted. So even if you can get the green in front of the center at one point, these weights are designed to keep it uh, from being settled in that ideal position. And that is where the part of this that I'm most proud of comes into play. There is actually a turret based vacuum pump here that you can control left, right, up and down, and you can use it to place bubble blocks in places. So now what you got to do is actually use the water to turn the wheels. So we're going to go ahead and flood the escape room back up again. So now as I apply bubble block to these wheels, I can cause certain level, certain parts of the wheels to be more buoyant than others and make it turn um, up to the exactly where I want it to go. 
So there we go. I want the uh, the green part to be straight up, so that's pretty easy. You just put a bunch of bubble block underneath the green part, probably make it symmetrical so it stays upright. Now this one's a little bit harder because there's three times as much weight pulling this one down. So you really gotta put a lot more bubble block on this one. And there we go. And what that does is it opens up this door right here. When you get access to this room, you may notice there's some cardboard corners right here, but you don't have access to your spud gun. Obviously, you need the water level to go down, and here's the fun part that I'm really looking forward to. I designed this to be intentionally, like, a bit of a, bit of a frustrating thing. When you uh, lower the water level, the weight is obviously gonna be misaligned again and the door closes. So this door will only stay open if they retain their position. So the way to do that is uh, obviously we got to bring the water level back up to get them into their positions. But much like you saw the cardboard at the beginning that we're locking them and preventing them from uh, turning, you just got to do that again. He's going to go back in their positions and then you just place a bubble block on either side. There we go. And now as you can see with the bubble block in place, the wheels stay in place, leaving the lights on and leaving the door open. So now you got to shoot the cardboard block. And then that allows that entire platform to go down, giving you access to this area. So now you're presented with another switch combination, and this one is actually supposed to represent the wheels that you just finished the puzzle for. And if you remember what position the green bars had to be in, that is actually the code. And if you don't remember, you may be like, well, how do I get back out to go look? Well, fortunately, there's bars here that you can just, you can activate the switch through this door to raise the platform back up. And you can take a look and realize it is right up down. Um, so, oops, I actually got to go back around now because I can't get access to that area unless the water level is down because the platform rises back up. This water level goes down. So now if I go right up and down, it extends this. And you might be thinking like, well, what is that actually for? Well, um, there's more to explore in this room because if we raise the water level, there is actually stuff underneath. You see there's cardboard blocks here and a light that indicates that there needs to be some way to turn that light on. But as you can see, you can't take your spud gun out because the water level's up. And that is exactly where this comes into play because you bring that out and then you can lower the water level and prevent the platform from blocking your view, allowing you to finally shoot the, or the cardboard underneath. And now you can see the light turns on, this door opens, and you can see this actually opens up to reveal a whole bunch of sensors, but what are you supposed to do with the sensors? Well, let's get ourselves back up to the second floor. So you can see there's a cube right here. Obviously, we got to use that cube and bring it to the center, but how do we get it off the wall? Well, if you find the timers, you see the timers actually lead to this table with a sensor there, but we can't use our spud gun right now because the water level is up. So let's put the water level back down. Now we can shoot the cardboard, but that didn't really do anything because the sensor is still detecting the table, which means we got to put the water level back up. There's a lot of um up and down with the water levels. You're underwater, you're not underwater. You can breathe, you can't breathe. Um, and then you can see the table rises up, causing this, sen or this uh, timer line to trigger, which then frees the cube, which floats because we got to get it back down and under and has to float up to the ceiling to be detected by the sensors. But in order to get it down to the bottom floor, obviously we need it to not be floating. So I've weighted it in just a way that it moves a decent amount if you're hitting the top of it from a crouching position uh, with a spud gun. And it moves just a little bit if you aim down at the bottom. So it shouldn't be too hard to get this thing nice and aligned inside this square. Fortunately, I've left a marker square on the bottom of the floor on the floor here so you can line yourself up. You know when you're exactly lined up. And I think that could be good enough. So then you raise the water level. And there we go. Escape room has been escaped. So now I think you can see why it's uh, probably my most complicated escape room yet. Uh, hopefully the guys can figure it out in a decent amount of time. This might be a long one. Let's go see how they do. All right, guys, you ready to try my escape room underwater theme? Yeah, man. All right, I may. Made... It's supposed to be underwater, <laughs> scrap man. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Uh, wait. Uh, don't worry that about is it, not okay? Underwater. Uh, it's so not underwater. <laughs> I may have gone a little bit overboard on this one and made it. This is probably the hardest escape room I've uh, chosen uh, or I've built. Oh. And uh, so what you guys got to do is swim underneath and get in the toilet seats. Underneath. 
Yep. Okay, uh, I guess I'm just gonna go to mine here. Yeah, I will get I in a free now? cam. Okay. All right, no deleting blocks, uh, no using any tools unless the unless the room provides them to you, and uh, first person only. In three, two, one, go. I have entered. The room is gonna provide us with something. I feel like. Is it? Am I even underwater yet? I'm still not underwater. No, you're I? not. You're not underwater right now. I'm not. <laughs> okay, wait. I see a button. I see buttons. Okay, that's okay. Interesting. That did something. Kind of broken looking. Okay, well, doesn't got, matter. I got the. Wait, is this a tool. key? I found oh. the tool in the room. Oh, you, Khan has made what? some progress. He's found a tool. So now I can use this tool. Yeah, you can say. use it. Yep. Is that? You can only destroy something? blocks with that tool if you happen to destroy blocks. Oh, well. Khan, Khan destroyed something. Okay, oh, wait, I feel just, like I made destroy a more things. Okay, perfect. So that goes to that. I made What's a huge to... mistake. What does that? What does that do now? Hmm. Oh, oh, what's no. this? Wait, that's just a light. Is that just a light? That's just a light. Interesting. Um, why hold would, on here. Why would this... Oh, I see. Oh, I see that. I see something there. That... Okay, okay. All I got right. the thing. Let's go over to Boombo. See what he's I doing. I got something in hand here. Yeah, Boombo exactly got a spud gun. Is. So wait, so I maybe... Do I want to get rid of these right now? Hmm. I feel like... like why would I can I need... get into this. That... Is it telling that me something? Do I see something any. here? Uh, this top latch is a little bit weird in the multiplayer. Are you, yeah, you don't worry about that. That's the, I've, I've had people test it and they all experience the same thing, but it didn't affect their ability to do anything. So, you're good. Okay, wait, this is, I can break this. I don't know if I was that supposed to do that. that. Oh. What did you do, uh, Khan? Mine is That's... sinking. Mine is, wait, mine oh. has, mine has sunk. I can't use my spud gun anymore because it's oh, sunk. Oh, what, am... what's going on here, Khan? Are you underwater? Pressing Are you underwater switches. now? Oh. Oh, it, the switch doesn't unsync what? it. Okay. I'm not underwater. Uh, I, I think mine might be broken, Scrap Man. That doesn't do anything. Oh, my wait, what? My something? panel is jammed through okay. my wall. Okay, you know what? Uh, just to, you, you have a special circumstance I've never seen happen, so you can go ahead and delete the electric panel. Just, just okay. You're not going to need just, that anymore. There you go. Just, yeah, that was yeah, weird. It was, it was, Don't know why that happened. Yeah, it, it was... How do I... Wait a minute, how am I supposed Why to clear this, this out without my that? spud gun? No. Hmm, that's a good question. That was a good oh, question. Oh, there's a thing. Okay, I see the thing. Um, so the, I didn't need the electric panel after it, it blew. Oh, yeah, once it's oh, open, it's geez. open, yep. Okay. All right, okay. Khan's got to figure out how to uh, clear that without a spud gun. I'm all out of, I'm out of, I feel like I'm out of ideas. Hmm, Moombo's Mumbo, having it. trouble figuring out what to oh, do with his spud gun now. No, that's not... I know, well, I thought I, I knew what I was doing, but now I'm, I'm not knowing. But I'm uh, <laughs> hold on, what am I? Does this open? No. Okay, oh, I see. I see those. I could activate those switches through this tiny little window. Hmm. I feel like I'm not supposed to do that though. I feel like I'm not on the right track right now. That didn't. That didn't Whoa. Okay, I just blasted some cardboard away. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> it, it happens. Think, wait, is that right? Hmm. What am I? Batman missing does here? all these weird little puzzle things, which are cool. And confusing. Dude, that's not, that's <laughs> yeah, not this right, might be though. one of the more complicated uh, rooms I've come up with, but you oh, haven't. Oh, it's the combos at the bottom of the. How do I clear out the cardboard, though? Hmm, that's a good question. Can I clear go back up? Clear out the cardboard. I can't go back up, Scrap Man. What are you? What are you doing hmm. to me? I'm stuck. Sometimes, the... sometimes things take time. To, uh, oh, okay. Well, then I think. really yeah. can't go back up. Like am I, I missing? I feel like am I missing a hint here? Why is there? There's two I green lights. Up. Where's the green? Oh, the it's lights. working. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh no! That's no. Okay, okay, okay. I know. What, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Are you sure? That's that's really cool. I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. I just teleported out out of where I was observing from. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's a cool one. That's cool. Big fan, big fan of that. All right, hmm. I, I got this now. I got this. I'm on the right track. Khan's making I, some I, progress. I, I, so, I feel like I'm really stuck right now. All right, I'm gonna give you a hint, Moombo, since you're really stuck right now. Uh, you yeah. have to. There's something you haven't destroyed yet with your spud gun. There's something I. 
haven't destroyed yet. I feel like I thought I've yep. destroyed everything I could and, destroy. And um, you ha you might have to aim a little bit like off of where it actually is. Sometimes you got to aim higher than normal just because is of it... collision issues. I tried breaking stuff in here, but oh, oh boy. God. Okay, heck? Moongo, I'm stuck. Uh, you, go ahead and delete your, your control box. Both of you got okay. an issue with the control box that oh, I've never geez. seen happen before. Really? Okay, yep. there's a switch. Oh, now, okay. There we go. I was trying to shoot that earlier. Oh. I thought it just couldn't break. Yeah, you just have to aim higher for some reason because oh, your spud gun hits the wow. control box if you don't aim high enough. Oh, okay, well, now I see a bunch of stuff. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay, I think All I right. know what I have to do here. So that's... I'm I like for how you have to uh, switch between the two different. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. that's in a cool the two feature. The two water levels. That's cool. That's Where a cool are you? Idea. Oh, there you are. Uh, okay. Off, okay. Oh, this is. Oh, this is cool. But wait. Oh wait! I've opened this up. The... Why have I opened this? Okay. Oh wow! Okay. Holy cow! So All now right. if I do that. All right. Um, is it so moving? I gotta... Am I moving? I gotta basically do this okay i am moving oh that's closing oh though God. wait that's, got everything's going. closing <laughs> everything just closed well yeah they, they float when the water goes away they stop floating interesting okay oh. wow am i hmm. to... i don't know why this spins but we're oh okay i get it ah mumbo's mumbo's picking up what i'm putting down I, I'm getting it. Yeah, I see what. Dude, this you're... is a really cool that's escape cool. room. That's cool. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's really complicated. Ah, that's see that that has to do that. Okay. That's okay. pretty neat. All right, here we go. I gotta go back to the master switch. Need some air. I can't go. breathe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's have a look here. Nice. Spud okay, so that gun. opens up. Okay, so now I gotta get. Yeah, here we go. Just make sure everything. Ooh. It... Ah. Okay. So now. Oh, you guys are doing our good. breath again. Roll. Um. So exactly which? Roll. It's up, but okay, maybe stop. we can't Perfect. trust that it's gonna be that. How does this one? Okay, this one's just gotta go. Alright. Han's working That's on right. my favorite part of the escape room. Where's Moonbow? I at? like this. This Green is so lit. cool, dude. I'm a big fan. Now, of what this. happens if we? I can't. Go back uh, to air. There we go. Let's go. This That's is so cool. There. This is the coolest puzzle. This is really nifty, isn't it? I, I, the, the part that I'm working on though is just my favorite. It's so. Oh good. wait, I didn't even notice what I just did. Whoops. Oh, like, Mumbo, oh, Mumbo just made it, made it to the second floor. Oh wow. I can't. Uh, I can't. What I can't hold on the there. heck? Okay, I'm shooting oh, out. On. Oh, I'm stuck. There's the seat yep. here. I see. Those seats are just there so you don't get stuck with the, flip. <laughs> the driver's okay, seat. Hold on. Flip. Flip. This Come on, flip. looks familiar. These flip. kinds of things. Wait, there's a... Flip. Come on. This one needs so Wait, many Wait, am blocks. I supposed to just... There we go. Okay. Not be okay. underwater right uh -huh. now? Aha. I'm stuck in this stupid chair. Okay, there we go. And then this... What is this? What is this? So that... What, and then what is, what here... Like this, okay, a, okay. A rod of power, okay. So now I can get rid of this stuff. Oh, there's I see, hmm. I see what I got. When am I actually getting out? Like, what am I <laughs> escaping from exactly? Oh, that's cool. Uh, you're just stuck in here, and you know it floods, so you probably want to move to a different house that doesn't flood all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that closes when? Oh. So up here is all that. Does this move? Wait, does that mean I have Am to I... jam these in such a way where it it'll does save? Move. But hmm, does it move up and down? It on. does interesting move up and down. There. This detached. Wow, wow. I don't know. Oh. Wait, so there's shapes. Wait. Oh, wait a second. Should I be allowed to break the? I can break the. If you can break it with your spud gun, then you can break yeah, it. Yeah, you can break it. If you can break it, you can break it. Yep. Oh, okay. I broke well, clearly it. This, this All just right. Goes here. I mean, so that's now great. I know the color, but how do I? Is there a? Is it to spud it? It is maybe a spud thing. Oh, I. Man, if I have to jam these to stay upright, that sucks. I think I understand something here. Okay, wait. I know. So, okay, I think so. Like, if I do that, just go. Come on. 
Okay. Hmm. And then nope. just do no, that. No, 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 no. Now what? Oh, Whoops. I screwed up. Can I delete that block? Nope. Oh, oh, what'd you do? Oh. I placed a block over the sensor. Um, then you're gonna have to get the water out of here and use your spud gun. <laughs> oh, you <Wait. laughs> stuck. Okay. Why didn't Fine. that... Okay, hold on. I'll finish this up. That goes like that. Okay. What? Is, Why did uh, that go there? That wasn't supposed to go. Okay. No, well, this is just wait. A disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> okay, oh, I think I'm, I got man. this one. Maybe. We gotta get the maintenance crew. The maintenance crew. Mumbo's. Uh, uh, are, yeah, you. Mumbo's trying a different crew. kind of strategy here for this one. Made a mistake. Okay, this one. I don't even know. It's that extra block. Can't have that. Okay, there we go. This. This one. That's just <laughs> gobbledygook. All right. Is this gonna again. work? No, I wasn't fast enough. Come on. I don't even know if this is like. Oh no! Uh, I went all the way around. Hey, hey Moomba, what kind of blocks are being shot out of that thing? Oh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Wait, but does that? Oh, it will. It just will. It just, <laughs> it just will. will. It just will. Okay. That's right. That's right. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. Uh oh, where'd it go? Yeah. There we go. Get this one. I wonder, on, like, what's the magic number, bugger. right? There's got to be a Sometimes magic number. Get, there we go. There. Okay. Okay. This should all be. This should all be glorious. All right. So let's try this again here. Time with everything. Okay. Test Under, run. Underwater, he yeah, says. Yeah. Test run. Half the time, we're not even underwater. <laughs> But, you know, I've mentioned the word underwater several times, so it counts. True. True, <laughs> true. That's... Okay, wait. So now... Okay. Let's see what's, what's moving the... here. What? How oh, are there... Okay, here we go. Stuff is happening. I'm not supposed happening. to be able to fall down here, am I? Well, I did. Oh. So... Good luck, Khan. Stuff am happened, I, but... Am I screwed now? No. Wait. This is not what oh, was I supposed guess to happen. Oh, I guess I can shoot that. I'm dealing with, uh... What are the... Some confusing ah, I physics. See. Confusing physics right now. Yeah, it's a it can be a little bit disorienting to figure out exactly what you're supposed to do, but it makes sense once once you get the hang of it. Wait, I can't really? get out of here? Oh, uh, I can just press E. Yeah, you can just, just press E to use. It tells you pretty clearly. Yeah, well, I, I did. Yeah, I wasn't... <laughs> okay, I'm looking for something. I got... Really so this one is in the right spot here. What am I looking for? I have no doubt about that one being in the right spot. Mm-hmm. So that's that. If this I can just kind of like make it happen, can I just like that's force useless. the outcome here? You know, maybe if I can I just feel like, like I'm on the last the last stage, but I don't have the instructions. Could be right in front yeah. of your face all along. Oh, it's that, that, and that. Okay, okay. So it's that. Here that, we go. And that. So da da da. Enable cheat codes. Right, yeah. gotcha. You cheating now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a, that, a that, strategy, that. and it's working. Going down the fire pole. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Aha! What? Is this going to work? <laughs> How does that help me? Oh, I, I see. I want to do this. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't want to do this. working? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on a minute. I feel. Am I pretty far behind right now? I, oh, there we go. Uh, oh, wait, no. Let me go I check in on Moombo over here. I got it. I feel like I might be far behind, but maybe not. Okay, where uh -huh. am I now? What is this? Wait, how did? Wait, 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 wait. Even wait, is this? How did? Oh, I see. Okay, nope, no, you're, you're, everything's good. Everything's normal. I thought some. I was normal? confused about something, and I realized I'm just dumb. I did that. All right. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go up. Hmm. Wait, what no, that. I? Wait, this closed. Oh man, that's right. So if I. Is this all made okay, of okay. cardboard? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Wait, oh. Like that. Oh. Karn's making some progress. Oh I no. How do I get the? Wait. So if this. Come on, thing. Do I want to like move what? that? I don't understand. Hmm. What else could I possibly be? Why do I care about this? <laughs> what else could it possibly be? Why do care I about? care about this? 
I see what I haven't touched and used yet, but I don't know why I care. Oh, I see, and then I gotta do this, but like, I don't understand. Why is it, is it just pointing somewhere? Is that somewhere? gonna work? Oh, and hey, Khan has, oh, has escaped! Khan has escaped! Khan is the winner! No. Alright, let's go check on Moombo. Wow. That was so cool. that... that was a good escape room. Alright, Moombo... So that timer goes through there. Moombo is trying to figure out how to keep the door open. Yeah, you got to keep the door open, but yeah, man. I, have, I, I don't know. The spud gun timer thing is, uh, oh, you got to figure out how to get these to not fall out of place when uh, the water goes down. If oh, only you that's could place right. some blocks. I, you know what? I <laughs> remember, stop it from I, you know what's funny, actually? I told myself that as I was doing this, I, I was like, you know what? I know exactly what I need to do. And then I stopped <laughs> thinking about the thing that I had to do. All right, all right, so those are all jammed in spot. Now I can wait, but I still don't know what the timer with the spud gun is. Uh, you've already completed it. It, un it unlocked the cube from the wall. What's the cube for? <laughs> well, you have a lot to find out. Is this, oh, that's what I'm about to find out, is it? It is your companion. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds familiar. Okay, so I got the cube. Uh huh. So I guess it, it, the idea is that it's like pointing so I can like move it with a spud gun. Yeah. Wait, is there anything going on in here? Nah, I just put that room for nothing. Doesn't mean anything. Did you really? No, I'm just kidding. Of course it, of course it has a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know this spot. Okay, so there's a hole there. Oh, now I need the water again. You know what I've so noticed? I gotta bring Skyman's it down. Rooms. What's that? Skyman loves the three cart cartwheels. He loves those three, the three the cartwheels. Three wheels? Well, I had the, yeah, I had the, uh, the puzzle box that had those, but this is a completely different t style of, uh, puzzle. True, you just, yeah, I just noticed you like the three cartwheels. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. look out for that now. It's like, oh, three cartwheels. <laughs> yeah, when you see the know wheels. Know what you gotta do. I don't know why. It's, it's easy for me to come up with a unique challenge with, uh, three cartwheels. <laughs> I have honestly, like, built all these puzzles and stuff, too. Never thought of using wheels like that once. And uh, it's like, oh, yeah, I should probably, should probably they just, do that. They just look so cool. Yeah. Oh, there Mimbo's, we go. Mimbo's moving the cube. Drop Mimbo's it down. Really focusing on that cube. Completely ignoring the room he just unlocked. <laughs> what did I... Was, was I supposed to bring it in there? No. No, you're not supposed to bring it in there. In fact, I, I didn't don't... think about people bringing it in there, and I don't know what would happen if you did. You might not ever get it back out again. Might not get it out. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. That looks like it's where it's supposed to be. Let's see if it'll press up against that or something. Is that what it's gonna do? Hmm. It didn't do anything. It did not do anything. Those sensors appear to be something's blocking your way. It's almost like I need to move that glass. Oh wait, that's cardboard. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> you think something's not cardboard, and then you realize, well, of course it had to be cardboard. Yeah, it's like the is it cake, but is uh, is it cardboard? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so this is a uh, a pole that you would normally have, right? Thank yeah. Thank God we're not using like destructible blocks mods to make this, where you can actually. Oh, yeah, like, just disguise everything. Like a whole panel of wood and one of them destructible. Like that would be worse. Okay, I just drop down. Do I go in here? I feel like I'll get stuck. Oh, oh wait, I can probably reach. You the ruined switch. it, Moombo. You can't do it now anymore. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you I can reach the, the switch from there. Okay. Yeah, that's Wait, where I was what are these shapes? Like, I tried, I tried <laughs> what is this for like thing? Uh, okay. It's the it's the probe. The, uh, <laughs> yes, it's the red probe. You've yeah, fallen into the probe figured. room, unfortunately. All right, so I'm gonna go back up and uh, and look for some clues. I think maybe. Mm -hmm. The blue buttons, I was on the fence, like, is this too obvious or is this not obvious enough? And it, it was so hard okay, to tell that, whether that, or not it was going to be other obvious. What's the thing you have with four directions on each blue thing? Four blue things? No, three blue things. With There's four the wheels. Directions. Oh, is it just, it's the wheels, the greens. Right, up, down. Right, up, down. Down the elevator. Right, going up, up and down. down part is really cool. I like that. Right. I didn't even up, realize until I started down. this that you can't use the spud gun underwater, and I'm like, oh, that just makes so much more puzzle elements. <laughs> yeah, you have to think about when you need the spud gun and when you don't, which is. Mm -hmm. So I just made the uh, the extender oh. extend. Congratulations. Ah uh, yes. You've the probe been has been activated. I activated the probe, mm. and so uh, you might need it for mean, something, but I, I don't win. know what yet. There might be more to this room than meets again. the eye. Really? Oh, it stopped that from lifting up. I have extended <laughs> the probe. 
and it stopped the platform from rising. Have you? Does have that you mean taking any time to maybe look, um, you know, all around the platform? Swim underneath it. Oops. Oh, I see. Wait, there's a light. I see a light. Oh, cardboard, cardboard, <laughs> more cardboard. Wait, so how would I break this cardboard? Hmm, good if question. It's gonna be probe approach from underneath. Oh, to hold it. You know oh. the underside probe, where you under you grab the undercarriage with the That's probe. That's right. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now, uh oh, there we go. Press the switch. Bring it up. Drop it down. Once All right, it's here down, we go. You never really need it back up. Water's going down. Gonna hold it up. Break. Oh, all these. There we go. Doors open. And the glass opens. Ah, would ah. you look at that? That opens the glass. That might do it. Yeah, yeah doors open. All right, congratulations. Oh. You made it. Wow, that was crazy. Good job, guys. That was a really cool yeah, one. Yeah, really well made. All right, well, thanks for playing. Good job, Kong. You actually, you, you solved it really fast there. I was surprised yeah, that, that you picked good. up on some of that stuff as quick as you did. All right, well, yeah, let's go really see, uh, see everyone else's underwater themed challenge. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my escape room. I put a lot of work into it. Don't forget to head over to the other guys' channels to see their underwater theme challenges. I'll leave links down in the description. Once I see their videos live, I'll try to leave direct links to their videos. And you can check them out down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.